let's understand about difference of sets you've always used to subtract two numbers let's say you had to subtract 8 from 6 sorry 6 from 8 you know it is 2 a minus b we know it's something similarly if you were given any two sets let's say a is equal to a b c d e f and b is equal to a e i o u and someone tells you can you find out a minus b or b minus a now how do you subtract one set from the other to subtract b from a the solution is all elements of a which are not in b okay so let's say i have to do a minus b a minus b and what i'm taking generally this is equally applicable for everything else so a do you have a here yes b b is not here so then b comes here c again c is not here d d is not here E, E we know is here, it will not come, F. So A minus B will be equal to B, C, D, F. So all those elements of A which are not in B are forming part of this solution. How about B minus A? Now generally, you know, in these kinds of calculation we knew whichever is the larger one you subtract the smaller one from this. But in sets, it doesn't work like this. Even if the number of elements in B are 5, and here it is 6, it doesn't matter. What matters is, you just need to see which subset you are using as the bigger one. So you see, what are the elements of B which are not in A? So A, we know it is there. E, we know it is there. I, of course, it's not there. O, U. All these three elements of B are not present in A, so B minus A will be equal to I O U. So that's how you do the subtraction of sets. Okay? Now graphically, if suppose you had these two sets A and B. So A minus B is basically what? Elements of A which are not in B. Elements of A which are in B is this common area. So the other area, this, is basically A minus B. And this is B minus A. So this red portion comprises of elements of B which are not in A. This comprises of elements of A which are not in B. And the common area is what is left out. 